Okay, so we have also tried some prototyping or experiments around implementing zooming. The, the layout is done in, uh, in Jeffy, but after we want to have a exploration of a big network, the browser, and we try to cluster the node according to their positions in the layout at different scales. And we also aggregate the links at each of these scales. Um, so we have type, Using some inspirations from other works is a web app which is called From App Blue, which do something very similar, but for a From Apps so graphs, but which are geographics. And it's a first step, I think. We still have <laughs> some questions: uh, how to tune the scales, how to tune the radius of the aggregation in the algorithm. So, um, first, first try. Uh, we have used two different. Uh, uh, graph as the case and this is the results after one day of only by Guillaume. Basically this is a good first step. We are not completely sure like UXY or UI wise it would be completely a good thing because like when you zoom uh, you actually see nodes disappear so that's a thing and what's more you see edges disappear appear and it's not completely straightforward to uh, understand what's happening so maybe it's just a question of levels. Yep. Uh, but uh, maybe it's just a bad idea. <laughs> we don't know. Yes, but, but sometimes you see interesting information. So, for example, in this graph, uh, you see this cluster, which appear quite naturally by using the, the clustering and the specializations, which uh, have a very particular mm. positions in this graph quite easily. And if you zoom in, it's way harder to, to find these three nodes which have this particular pattern of connections with oh, yeah. uh, this click. And uh, uh, it may help in finding some interesting structure in the graph, especially if you have a lot of edges, I think. Yeah, and we should maybe add that we don't merge the nodes here uh, if they are not like topologically linked in the network, which that, for instance here, be like a group of little nodes which are in no way connected to uh, the other stuff, so we don't merge them. Okay. So it it means that you can't have something viable. These nodes would gather things which are closed on the map, like yeah, geographically, but they are not linked. Yes, we have so, tried to to build cluster which are partially coherent and coherent also in the UI element that controls how much edges uh, reduction edge reduction is applied will be neat. Another ticket, <laughs> another one. <laughs> uh, it makes me think of uh, Voss Viewer, which is uh, originally uh, and still uh, very much uh, alive and kicking a, a Java app for uh, scientometric uh, networks. And they have this uh, zooming and uh, the interface changes for, for when you zoom. But they have, as far as I remember, they take another road, which is uh, simpler. They, they just work on labels. So the more you zoom out, the more the, the smaller labels are just erased from the display. They are not just made smaller. I think they also have transparency effects. Um, so I was just wondering uh, whether uh, this project about making the, the graph clearer with zooming effects could, uh, in parallel to what you do, take a, a simpler road by taking just the, some transparency effects and a resizing of the nodes. But you know what you do is amazing, like mer merging visually nodes and edges is uh, super hard. So maybe you want to have a look at those viewer and see what they achieve with a, a, a much simpler conceptual uh, effect. I, I think there is a quite a big question about uh, how you, you make a mental model of, uh, of the first layout where a lot of things are aggregated and we need to propagate the labels and have some information to give uh, an overview which is useful. Uh, it's supposed to mean that the, you, you have the cluster and then it aggregates other nodes. We, we were supposed to show you the leader of the, the cluster and then um, telling you how many nodes it aggregates. But it, the, the recursive function used here is not correct, so don't <laughs> take it as granted. Um, I want to say that I was kind of against this approach because it gives so much weight to the layout, but your demo kind of makes me change my mind. Now, now I see 
I see how it can be useful. I'd say first that it, it acts a little bit like edge bundling in the sense that when you're zoomed out, um, it in fact, de, de facto, it aggregates the edges because since you have less nodes and bigger, many, many edges that would be spread out now aggregate and they give kind of a clear path uh, from one area of the network to another. And I think that this is a good standpoint, a good landmark to compare how it works. So for instance, the first thing that I'm missing is the information about the edge density within the clusters. Yes. Like, is it sparse or not? Yes, we, we, we have discussed this and yeah. we, we have computed for, for each of the cluster. So perhaps one way will be to use the size of the cluster to represent intra-cluster density of but here I would actually want to draw um, maybe a designer into the affair or join you to kind of be inventive as a cartographer because I think that just a red dot, th there could be something else than just a big dot to show that density and that size at the same time. Maybe we need to invent something more uh, just in terms of the visual aspect of it. Because what I really like is, in some ways, it's also better than edge bundling in the sense that edge bundling will make your audience kind of believe that it is less complex than it actually is. It hides some parts of the complexity. And I think that the part it hides is exactly the part you're interested in when you do network analysis. So I'm kind of always frustrated with edge bundling. But here, because it's tied to the very natural interaction of zooming in and out mm. that everyone knows, it's really easy to navigate this bundling, debundling that you have de facto. So with that, you can navigate these different scales of reduction in a way that I, I didn't think would be so simple. So now I kind of really like it. Mm -hmm. I want to see more. In the chat, there is Paul saying uh, also different node program, program graphical rendering for me to not cool the help. And he's proposing a minimap with the top level always visible, maybe. And uh, Alexis Jacomi is, always, is uh, also saying that uh, Sigma hardly handles other things that dots, though. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, uh, I think there is also one question about the usage of the tool. If it's exploratory or to publish a, a final map, and yeah. uh, it, if it's publish a final map, perhaps the editor of the map may just uh, put interesting label at some place that help in getting directions about uh, where we are, stay constant between the different zoom and help in uh, getting where we are at the yeah. current moment. Yeah, maybe adding a, a lock button, you know, button so you can lock a view and zoom in the view because I think the problem there is that there are maybe some clusters you want to zoom in and just if you can lock this view, zoom in, zoom out and re-unlock it and so you the bundles know, okay. you know, yes. something like this. Okay. 